Hello everyone, this is Ali Hamdi. Today I will present draw track high speed drone based object tracking under uncertainty with Flora Salim and Duyan Kim from the RMIT University. Recently, drone based object tracking has been utilized in many different applications such as uh, search and rescue, e commerce, and medical delivery. But let's start by defining what is the visual object tracking. We are given a series of frames. A video segment we only have the bounding box annotated at the first frame and the object tracking algorithm should continue predicting and estimating the center location and the new bounding boxes in each successive frame till the end of the video the research problem that we are trying to solve is the inaccuracy of the drone based object tracking due to the complex dy dynamic situation uncertainty and the high speed dual motions that happening due to having the drone is moving the camera uh, gimbal itself is also moving in different directions besides the moving object itself the tracked object and these all factors are changing in the six degree of freedoms we have a drone tracking the object i'm enlarging here the three uh, time stamps so at the first time stamp we can see that the bounding box the given bounding box is exactly surrounding the, the object but if we have the drone moving away from the object itself, when it moves a bit higher or, or in, in a different angle, we can see different var varieties of the, the scale of the, of the object itself. So to face all these challenges, we propose uh, four contributions. The first one is an adaptive feature extraction method that tries to correct the optical flow, the conventional optical flow method. We, we propose a special segmentation method based on a fuzzy C-mean segmentation and uh, a pre-trained uh, convolutional neural network model. The third one is a heuristic geometrical method to estimate the accurate object scales. The last contribution we provide a comprehensive evaluation and benchmarking against the baseline and state of the art trackers. We start having the first frame and the uh, bounding box. In the adaptive corner detection, we try to find the strongest corner in the given uh, bounding box. And then we capture the special relationship between this corner and the actual center of the given bounding box. At C, we calculate the optical flow, and then we correct the prediction of the optical flow based on the uh, previously captured special relationship between this uh, or the original corner that we uh, calculated the optical flow for and the bounding box center. So what we need to do now is uh, try to estimate the new bounding box. We propose two different methodologies. The, the first one, geometry-based estimation for, for the scale based on the movement of the object itself. For example, if it moves far from the drone or it moves uh, closer to the drone, so we increase or decrease the scale of the bounding box. But in a difficult situation such as drone-based object tracking, due to the challenging situation and the unexpected motions of the drone and the moving object, the geometry-based uh, meth methodology may result in inaccurate scale estimations. So to solve this uncertainty here due to this motion, what we do is just to use the fuzzy C-mean segmentation to cluster a search area around the uh, calculated center point. And, and then we use uh, the VG16 represent each cluster here from the uh, fuzzy C-mean segmentations in a feature vector and then we compare the uh, cosine similarity between the original bounding box uh, area and each one of these cluster to decide which one is the correct one for the scale. And then we compare between the, the estimations comes from the relative angular scaling and the fuzzy C means segmentation with the scene and segmented scale. What's happening for the relative angular scaling based on the special information comes from the planner let's say this is the, the focal point of the uh, the drone camera and we have uh, three uh, locations far or, or planes uh, far from the focal point if we have these small objects they're gonna be represented or projected with the same scale with these larger uh, objects or even this larger largest one because they are on different distances from the focal point and this also can be seen easily here we have two humans this first one is closer to the drone and we can see within the same uh, bounding box in comparison to this one it's more triple the size or maybe 
uh, four times the size of this far one. In the reference template RT, we're just trying to um, formulate and model the different expected seven situations of the object motion in relation to the drone. In the first sample case, the, the object doesn't move far or closer to the drone, so the, the scale gonna be uh, zero. Sometimes it's, it moves um, far from the drone or closer to the drone, so that we just use the scale the ratio between the height of the bounding box and the height of the whole frame. And we continue trying to just normalize the movement because if, if it's just moving in, in, in a horizontal way, so the uh, the increasement or the decreasement in the scaling is, is being tuned uh, with a smaller ratio than if it moves in the vertical X. Uh, for the fuzzy uh, semen segmentation, uh, we have four clusters and then we, we represent each cluster in a vector. We are showing uh, other different cases for the same uh, object or even in four different objects. Uh, here we have uh, two clusters or three clusters or even five clusters in order to approve the superiority of the draw track, we compare its result in terms of the speed and accuracy uh, against nine of the baseline and uh, state-of-the-art trackers. The main uh, metric that we, we use to calculate the accuracy and precision of the draw track is the intersection of a union. We experimented the draw track on two different data sets. The first one is the DTB70 and the second one is UAV DT benchmark for single object tracking. We compare three different versions of draw track against the real time trackers and the non real time trackers and deep learning trackers. We have the draw track using the fuzzy C main segmentation only, or using the angular relative scaling method only, or using both in, in a combination as uh, been explained before in the proposed methodology. In a comparison with only the, the real time trackers, Draw track I would perform with all these trackers with a very high accuracy in terms of precision and in an intersection of a union. We can see the most which has very high speed in terms of the frame per second. However, it has around 20 something percent in comparison to 70 something percent with the versions of draw track. We compare the three different versions of draw track with the non real time trackers, including the deep learning ones. As we can see, draw tracks still maintain uh, the best results, balancing the, the precision, IOU, speed, and time. The deep learning trackers, and, so, and sometimes they uh, outperform uh, draw track in terms of accuracy, the precision, and IOU. However, they don't offer real time tracking, or even just few frames per second. The other net, for example, it's 0.2 frame, which means that it, it, it needs like five seconds to process only one frame or four frames uh, per second for the CMEs in comparison to uh, more than 200 for the, the angular one or even like 65 frames per second for the, uh, the draw track. For the second data set, the UAVDT benchmark for single object tracking, we, can, we still can see the superiority of the draw track uh, by 70 something for the precision and uh, with, with, with the higher IOU in comparison to the uh, the real-time trackers and the same idea still maintain a good results in terms of the precision and IUU while having the best result of the tracking speed. Uh, let's see some examples from the tracking results. So when it when it moves, two track is, uh, is uh, correcting itself. As you can see, it's trying to capture the best uh, scale okay, in comparison to the other uh, trackers. Uh, here is another scenario. Okay, you can see uh, these trackers get distracted. Yeah, and sometimes you can find draw track is moving far from the center of the object, but in in uh, in a moment it will uh, correct itself, trying to find the the correct center of the object itself. Because we lack the the knowledge of the depth, you can see that draw track result is not the best, much smaller than the the correct one. can find the source code of draw track and if you have any question please feel free to contact me thank you very much